What's going on everybody? Welcome back to GMI's World and right now we're going to be talking about how to create the 50 Calvin Johnson, the cheapest, uh, the cheapest possible way for you to be able to do that. Now, what you're going to have to understand is that all the cards that go into it, there are various ways to make it. Number one, you can play the weekly challenges of the 50 to go ahead and get some of those things. You know, you get an 83 overall card. There's different ways for you to do, you know, to accumulate uh, these cards, but we know it's a 93 overall Calvin Johnson, right? So when you go to the 50 and you see the weekly stuff that you're supposed to do, you're going to get one of those Nat cards, which is an 83, that goes into that set. So what does that mean? Primarily what's going to happen is this. You're going to be able to get yourself one of the Nat fresh players that are 83 and you can use it in one of the current players that are available. I have yet to receive a lower level card uh, like an 82 or 81 based on when they've been releasing the current 93 overalls. Now we all know that Randy Moss probably would be a 94, but right now we're, fo we're pretty much focused on Calvin Johnson. All right, Megatron, I know a lot of you guys want him on your squad. You're like, yo, g -Mai, what's the route? What are we doing? All right, so what did I do? I invested in the 83 overall cards. Average price about 19K. Many of you guys probably already had a lot of them. The reason that I tell you guys to not really accumulate a lot of these cards is because EA is gonna change the overalls randomly, right? So when you go to the 50 tab and you take a look at what's going on with the cards, I'm gonna show you pretty much the 50 exchange. Now, right now we're at the 83 overall stage because the 83s is what you put into the sets to get the 93 overalls. So if you had any of the um, the 82 overalls, you can exchange them. I do not recommend doing that if, the, if your 82 overalls are auctionable. If you have them left over and they're gnats from playing those challenges, then you can use it. I actually use this with my gnats to go ahead and make an 83 overall, right? So there's various ways to do it. Also, you can also go this route down here. Um, there's you could put 11 77 to 79 overalls to get the 83 overall players so this is probably one of the cheaper ways to do it but it's very very time-consuming so what I always tell my viewers is this guys if you don't want to spend the money you're gonna have to spend the time EA Sports is not concerned with what you're doing your family time or anything like that which is why they release content during family time like you got to realize something guys to release content uh on thanksgiving day at like eight nine usually you know people on the east coast are just starting to get together well dinner's a little bit early but they canceled the nfl game that we really cared about and we had two trash games but you know typically people are getting ready to sit down chill out and do stuff and ea is like yo we're doing this right now so they don't really care about your time i do I want to make it as simple as possible, right? So if you guys are interested in doing this and you have a lot of these gold cards, this is a way for you to either use those cards to make currency or you're going to use it to go ahead and make the card that you would like. Many of us want that Calvin Johnson card. I know I right now, because we realize with Mike Evans that we can moss in the game, it's going to open up my offense. It may open up yours as well. Just remember, the moss action is a little bit different than 20. In 20, you could moss like four or five guys, you do whatever you want. Right now, the most you can you know, moss is two to where I am right now with it, so they've toned it down. But one-on-one -on -one coverage is almost automatic in most cases, so you shouldn't have much issue with that. Also, he's 6'5", and he's 95 speed without a theme team. So he will be able to get animations where he'll get off the press and do a lot of weird things. So I wouldn't really worry about that too much. So that's one of the ways that you guys can do it. Again, I would not recommend putting your 82 overall auctionable players into this, but the Nats that you get from the challenges, feel free to go ahead and do that. All right, so now that we understand all that, I'm gonna show you guys, I invested in all of the cards that were necessary to go ahead and get this Calvin Johnson set done. So I have 32 of them already ready to go, okay? But those are the ways that I did it. Those are the ways, that's the way you're gonna have to do it if you don't wanna go crazy and have to deal with the power up price plus the price of Calvin and all the other stupidness that's going on. If you don't wanna deal with that, that is the best way, that's the best route to do it. Now, some of you guys are gonna say, is that a coin making method, g -Maya? Like, what, what do you think about that? Well, that's a great question, right? So look, let's say for whatever reason, you don't want Calvin Johnson and you know that people are gonna be raising the prices of these 83 overall cards. The way that I just showed you with using the gold cards to create them, you can go back and sell them, all right? Now, that one is 18K, but somebody's gonna buy it probably super fast. They know what's going on. A lot of the people and the things that are happening right now, they understand the value of the cards. 
So most of these things that are there right now won't be by the time you guys watch the video. But like I told you, the average price was about 19K. You see somebody bought it for 21. This one is already gone, but if I went to go get it, it would say that you know the bidding is already done, but it'll show you that one. It's kind of weird, right? Uh, the way that the auction house works sometimes, but you will be able to make a decent amount of coins off gold cards if you wanted to go that route. Remember, there are no sets currently that give you the most. Like the, these 83 overall cards are like real gold. Like they're like currency. You could hold it and see what else they're gonna give you. But I'm gonna tell you this right now. Randy Moss, more than likely, they will raise the value of it because I don't think they would keep Calvin and Randy on the same plateau. Randy Moss is the greatest deep threat that ever touched the NFL field. Okay, so he's, they have to put him in a league of his own. For those of you guys that are asking me, it'll be very, very weird to me if they release Randy Moss as a 93. All right, so you have different options right now. You can go coin making method, you can go and do a lot of different things. Whichever way you want to go ahead and attack this, you can. Just understand, it's going to cost you one way or the other. His average price, if you go for the power up and the actual card, is going to be like that. That's going to be a situation that you guys are gonna to have to definitely, definitely take a look at and figure out how you're gonna do it because that's usually what goes on when a newly made card is released. The power up is in the 300 and change and then the actual card, you know, it might fluctuate, but you need the power up to achieve that max speed of what I'm talking about. Now, most of us have different cards on our squad right now. I've already raid sold uh, Mike Evans because I don't need him anymore. I don't want two dudes that I can moss with. I only need one because the other players are going to open up other instances that are going to make me a lot better. So those are the things that um, are going to have to make sure that we can actually put together the right system to make this stuff work. So Brandon Ayuki is there now. I told you guys, I just want to give you guys a heads up. I did exactly what I told you guys I was going to do with this card. Get, get him. Put Slot Apprentice, I have, I have Slot Apprentice and I have Route Technician on him. 96 speed, 97 excel, 6 foot. He's wild, he's savage, he's ready to go every single snap. All right, so he and Chad Johnson are gonna be my route technicians for now. I don't need to go crazy because these players are gonna be very, very unique in how I use them in the game. So that's where we are right now. So Calvin will take over for where you see DK Metcalf. All right, and then from there, we'll just utilize that in that regard, we'll just put, you know, Calvin will be there. I know DK Metcalf is faster, but we have the option of now being able to moss um, with that card. So currently right now, play fake is 52 of 50, lockdown 52 of 50, 49 or 50 of 50, 41 of 40. So DK Metcalf will be the odd man out. Right now, I don't know why Mike Evans is actually in my lineup. We got to go ahead and get him out of the lineup. I don't know what he's doing there. Um, yeah, we, we, we got rid of him. He was raid sold effective immediately, uh, the way that he deserved to be. Um, so that's where we are currently. And that also opens up another spot for another player. But we only run three wide receivers in the tight end for most of our sets. So that'll be what we need to actually you know accomplish maybe for your team you run it differently but very few people run spread with four wide receivers um so usually you have a tight end out there that's you know handling his business somehow all right guys so that's everything that i'm going to need to let you guys know right now go ahead and start building your teams there obviously will be a lot more going on during the blitz promo uh, i myself will not be taking advantage of many of those you know limited time blitz events because i have stuff going on uh currently but i will keep you guys up to date via twitter instagram and facebook uh all at g Myers world with any information that i come upon and you guys can free uh feel free also to tweet me you know facebook all that stuff let me know what's going on and i'll get it out to all the brethren that watch and watch and view my content. I want to thank you guys and girls for watching. You go ahead and continue to be safe. Have a great day. Until next time. One love, y'all.